Go. Hello, in this presentation you will find out about the transportation of water in a plant. Roots have millions of little hairs under the ground. These hairs give the plant a large surface area to absorb water. There is usually a high concentration of water in the soil, so the water enters the root hair cell by osmosis. Root hairs take plates, taking minerals used in active transport. Root hairs also absorb minerals from the soil. The concentration of minerals in the soil is usually pretty low, so the normal diffusion doesn't work, and so the process called active transport is used. Active transport uses energy from respiration to help the plant pull minerals into the root, in, into the root hairs. This happens against the concentration gradient. Plants have tube networks. These move substances to and from individual cells quickly. The exylum is, is a tube network. It transports water and minerals from the root to the rest of the plant, for example, to the leaves. The sphalerum is another tube network. It transports sugars from the leaves where they are made to growing and storage tissues. Transportation. Transpiration is the loss of water from the plant. Transpiration is caused by the evaporation and diffusion of water from inside the leaves. This is how it happens. First the water evaporates from the leaves. This creates a slight sort of shortage of water in the leaf. More water is drawn from the rest of the plant through the exylum vessels to replace it. This, in turn, this means more water is drawn up from the roots. This means that there's a constant stream of water through the plant. This is called the transpiration stream. And that's what all you need to know about transportation of water in a plant. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new.